here we will look at how we draw a conservatory. Uh, so for this, first of all, we need to start putting our, our base down, so some kind of floor. Uh, so to do that, we need to go into our architecture tab and pull up floor. And once we've got floor up, uh, this is the type of floor I want. This is going to be a ground bearing slab, just a concrete slab sitting on the floor. Make sure any height offsets that you've previously used, previously used are set to zero, or otherwise your floor will be floating up like mine would be. Uh, so with that done then, I can now use my rectangle tool uh, to actually start drawing out where I want this to, to sit. Don't worry about dimensions and stuff like that just yet. Just get the, the, the pink rectangle down, escape key, and then when I click on here, I can now start setting this to what I want this to be. This one, I'm going to go 2.5 meters. And for this one here, I'm going to go uh, 5 meters. So it's fairly standard rectangle. Uh, with that done, hit the green tick. And then just have a quick look, make sure that um, it's what you want it to be uh, in the 3D mode. So we can see the base where our conservatory is going to go. And you can see our opening going in there. Uh, so back into the ground floor, and this time we're going to pull up our architecture and wall um, uh, tab. When we're in here, you want to scroll down. So you've probably been using some of the walls up here somewhere. So just literally scroll all the way right down to the bottom, and you've got this curtain wall storefront. Click on that, and then we're going to start setting up some of these parameters. First of all, we need to go into Edit Type. So go into Edit Type, and when you scroll down, you can see we've got these vertical and horizontal mullions. Uh, they're all selected as a default to None. We need to check all of these to 50 by 150. So all of these are going to be 50 by 150. So you just pull down the handle and then scroll down, find the 50 by 150 rectangular mullion. Uh, and you do that six times in all six of those. Hit apply and then hit OK. And then over here with our <coughs> uh, constraints, base offsets fine. That's the zero. We can keep that. Our top constraint, I'm going to change this to unconnected. And my unconnected, I'm going to change that to, uh, let's go 2,100. Keep it the same height as our, as our wall opening. And then click Apply. Now, when we're, when we're measuring this out, um, when we do our normal walls, we go in a clockwise direction. For this one, I'm using the single line. I need to go in an anti-clockwise direction. So I'm going to start at the bottom here, come along, draw out the path of where the wall is going to go, and then uh, hit the escape key once I've finished drawing it. Just have a quick look at my 3D view. Now you can see we've got my concrete base down and I've got this um, this curtain wall around the outside. When I zoom in and look at the corner, you can see the corner doesn't look very nice. Uh, it doesn't look correct at all. It just looks like they have a lap. Uh, and you've got this odd uh, in interior shape here. Uh, so to change that, we're going to go back into our ground floor, uh, zoom into one of the corners up the top here. When we're up here, uh, just click on e either one of these rectangular mullions. Just click on one of those and then just click on the... Uh, unlock key and then hit delete get rid of one of them uh, do the same on the other one just hover over it click and then get rid of that uh, lock key don't delete it but actually go into your properties box top left up here and you want to find the quad corner mullion 150 by 150 once you've done that you can see it it changes uh, to a better looking corner we'll go down to the bottom and do the same on this corner here so on to here then so I'm just going to highlight one of these uh, corner these uh, mullions unclick it delete one of them uh, back onto this other one hover find, make it go blue unclick it and then change it to the quad corner 150 by 150 and then if i go back to my 3d view we can see that corner looks a lot neater now uh, and that there is how we actually provide our, our walling uh, we'll look at a separate video for putting in uh, doors and we'll look at a separate video again for putting the roof on